Hi, I am Hardik Nayak from Engineering Guru Kanadi YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn Fourier Stenner's equation for four-bar chain mechanism. Consider a four-bar chain mechanism ABCD as shown on the screen. The link AD is fixed and lies along x-axis. Link AB is called input link. Link BC is called coupler link and Link DC is called output link. Makes angle theta for input link. Make angle beta at coupler link and make angle phi at output link. In which small a is representing length of input link. Small b is representing length of coupler link. Small c is representing length of output link and small d is representing length of fixed link. Vector AB can be resolved by two components. One horizontal component and another one is vertical component. Horizontal component will be directed toward right hand side and vertical component will be upward direction. So horizontal component of AB will be A cos theta and Vertical component will be A sin theta. Similar vector BC can be resolved into components, horizontal components and vertical components. Horizontal components will be B cos beta and vertical component will be B sin beta. Similar vector, similar vector CD can be resolved into components. Horizontal component of CD will be C cos phi and vertical component will be C sin phi. For the equilibrium of mechanism, the sum of the components along x axis and along y axis must be equal to 0. So, first of all, take the sum the components along x axis A cos theta plus B cos beta minus means this direction is opposite so minus cos phi minus d equal to 0 let us say this equation number 1 rewrite the equation b cos beta equal to c cos phi plus d minus a cos theta now squaring b square cos square beta equal to into bracket c cos phi plus d minus a cos theta whole square. So, open this bracket will be c square cos square phi plus d square plus 2cd into cos phi plus a square into cos square theta minus 2ac cos phi cos theta minus 2a cos theta. So, let us say this is equation number 2. Step number 2, taking the sum of the component along y axis. So, a sin theta plus b sin beta minus c sin phi equal to 0. So, let us take this equation number 3. Rewrite this equation b sin beta equal to c sin phi minus a sin theta. Now, squaring both sides. So, b square sin beta equal to into bracket c sin 5 minus a sin theta whole square. So, it will be c square sin square 5 plus a square sin square theta minus 2ac sin 5 sin theta. So, this is equation number 4. Now, step number 3 adding equation number 2 and 4. So, from the equation number 2 and 4, whenever we add, it will be b square into bracket cos square beta plus sin square beta equal to c square into bracket cos square phi plus sin square phi plus d square plus 2cd cos phi plus a square into bracket cos square theta plus sin square theta minus 2ac into bracket cos phi cos theta plus sin phi 
into sin theta minus 2 ad cos theta so we all know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so this equation will be rewrite b square equal to c square plus d square plus 2 cd cos 5 plus a square minus 2 ac cos 5 into cos theta plus sin 5 sin theta 2 ad cos theta you can rewrite this equation 2 ac into bracket cos 5 cos theta plus sin 5 sin theta equal to a square minus b square plus c square plus d square plus 2 cd cos 5 minus 2 ad cos theta now dividing this equation by 2 ac so it will be uh, cos 5 cos theta plus sin 5 sin theta equal to a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by 2 ac d by a cos 5 minus d by c cos theta so this is our equation number 5 now let d by a equal to constant a d by c equal to take constant k2 a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by 2 ac equal to take constant k3 why we are putting constant k1 k2 and k3 equation number 5 may be written as it will look simply this is one of the reason and another more important reason is k1 k2 and k3 are having term which are length of links the length of links are not going to change when mechanism is operate so whatever may be the value of theta and phi k1 k2 and k3 will be always constant so equation number 5 may be written as cos phi cos theta plus sin phi sin theta equal to k1 cos phi minus k2 cos theta plus k3 this is equation number 7 the equation number 7 is known as fully strains equation where k1 equal to d by a k2 equal to d by c and k3 equal to a square minus b square plus c square plus d2 square divided by 2ac so this was a video regarding fully strains equation at the end if you find my video very helpful then you can like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel Thank you.